Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Morocco TV. Hypercritical feminist gets owned calmly by a man. He's like a drum below. I really appreciate that. Let's do that. Ciao. Ciao time. Shout outs to Michael Knowles. I watched this whole podcast on their debate. I loved it. Wait, you'd object to your partner watching. Um, it wouldn't be ideal, yes. My understanding is you don't do any nudity in your OnlyFans content, but you... Wait, you have an OnlyFans, too? Yeah, she doesn't... <laughs> she does what? Are you kidding me? I've been... Oh, man, I thought you strung me along so well, and now you're going to pull... Isn't it sad now, just to point this out, that Michael Knowles, a pretty well-established public figure, is debating three feminists that are OnlyFans? This is where we're going at. We're not we're not getting, you know, prestigious men and women to, to debate each other. No, it's only fans models that is debating for the for the half of the women. That's the best representation that you guys have right now is only fans models to to argue the women's side of things. Trash. Hold the rug. Hold on. You're the one who's trying to pr entice these men to, to look at this stuff. And, and then you're trying to put all of the blame on them? My OnlyFans, I started a year ago. When I'm talking about, I, this is why I became disillusioned and pink-pilled is because I did everything, right? I was a virgin all through college. I'm still a virgin. I do all these things. I date these Christian conservatives. Bullshit. They talk about waiting till marriage. They talk about going to church every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Porn addict. I call straight shenanigans on most of what she's saying right here. All of them. And but if they're not watching porn, they're, yeah. they're following Instagram models. They're going to Hooters. It's mostly conservative what, men. What rank Conservative what, men what, that I'd go on dates with, they'd have these like posters of like nude playgirls and stuff like that, like Playboy bunnies and stuff. And that's Oh my god, guys, having a, 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 a poster of a girl on your wall now is, is, is just as bad as watching porn, according to these women. All boys have some kind of hot chick poster on their walls if they're into posters. Especially when they're younger, as it is what it is. It doesn't go away when they're older, but they're, it's not exactly porn. Play, are those... you dating like 65 year old men what are you talking about playboy it's, it's more of these conservative like midwestern boys who like have that type of paraphernalia or hold on now are we talking about native to their are we culture? talking about like a pinup thing in your garage from the floor? yeah i call shenanigans on this midwestern conservative boy you live in a more liberal state you live i think she lives in california and she deals things with a lot in california so where are you meeting these Midwestern boys that are super into porn and super into Instagram models. Are we talking about like actual porn addiction where people are are? It doesn't matter. Looking at to your me, content. it's all the same. I'm just saying that like why just, is, uh, why is hey, why is going to Hooters more acceptable? Why can't I throw my chips in? Wait, one question. So, but you you do make OnlyFans content. So I guess how do you reconcile that with objecting to your partner watching that sort of content, but you also produce that kind of content? I mean, I just think it's funny because always on these red pill shows, they'll talk. Men will get on here and be like, "Yes, I watch. I went date a porn star." So, what's the issue? And also, you're saying I do, but I wouldn't date a guy who watches it. Boom. It, yes, because I'll tell you why. If you actually look at pair bonding, watching porn does affect your neurochemistry and your pair bonding. Me being lusted after does not affect my neurochemistry or my pair right, bonding. But you're enticing them to do it. You are part of the problem, and you're you're the, no. the thing that you're inveighing against. Wow. No. You are contributing to the issue that you have a problem with men consuming too much porn and too much adult content but yet you are part of that industry pushing out that particular content how are you not part of the problem it's like if i was a drug dealer and my i'm the people that bought drugs from me od'd and be like oh yeah they deserve it you know because they shouldn't have bought drugs from me I take some blame for that, I would assume. Against is something that you are encouraging as and profiting from as you encourage it. That's only if you, if you consider lusting to only exist within pornography. I think even if my boyfriend were lusting after like 18 year olds, like a cashier at a grocery store, I would think yeah. that's just as wrong. A 1940s pinup poster and hardcore porn on. This is a stupid, the, re the reason women are in the position that they are now is because of men's lust. Without men's lust, you fuckers wouldn't be on this planet because men don't give a fuck enough about other uh, women other than that we're lustful towards them and we want certain things from them. If we didn't have this major lust towards women, we would have just died off. We would have just played with ourselves, probably fucked some animals here and there and then died off. That's it.
on the internet, one is going to excite one more than the other. Yes, and if you're talking gradations and where I fall in those gradations is probably on the more mild side. I don't do nude content, but um, I mean, regardless, like I said, even what, if I did do nude content, even if I did necessarily- It's like saying, I only do softcore porn. I do not do hardcore porn. It's, it's still porn. Really, like touch myself on camera that doesn't affect my neural chemistry in terms of pair bonding but a man no, but watching that men. yes you're, do, you're you're doing something bad to these men and then complaining that the men are bad women like her are the reason why people say to never underestimate a woman's ability to lack accountability this donut is a complete hypocrite and she knows it and as people are saying in the comments it's like a drug dealer shaming the addicts and pretending they're not part of a problem and also trying to make out that a playboy poster and hardcore are the same thing right. is ridiculous. It just proves that she's a complete donor. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> There's many victims in this video. She's just not one of them. She's the one causing the problem by trying to make something out of nothing for views and attention. The real victims are the clueless men being filmed and made out to be creeps when they're not doing anything. They just want to work out. Would you date him? No, he's fat. And that, um, that hurt, you know? Tell the truth, guys. It should hurt. It should hurt. Get your asses to the gym. God damn! That's what I'm talking about! People always tell him to focus on themselves and be the best Holy. version they can. This guy has a freaking genetically fucking awesome physique. So when he worked out, he became a fucking stud. Can be. And for me, the gym is definitely one of the best places you can start to do that. Perfect! From Don Julio? Who the fuck do you think you are? Because you couldn't let my dog sit on my lap? Man, let's go. A passenger yells from the back. I am! Shut the Then the bartender from whoa, Las Vegas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, ladies. Calm the fuck down. Throws a water bottle. She admits she lost her cool. And now the airline passenger booted off the plane with her dog is speaking exclusively to Inside Edition. I get along with people very well, and I'm no, you don't. A very calm person. No, you're not. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Fellas, I'm telling you, the eyes rarely lie. I can see the crazy in this one from a mile away. That dog needs rescuing, and she needs Michael. Get some help. The dispute reportedly started because the passenger brought wine on board, which was confirmed by the flight attendant. You told me you were having anxiety, yeah. and I hugged you, and I knew you were drinking wine, and you're not allowed to. The dispute soon escalated to such an extent that the decision was made to divert the plane, infuriating the rest of the passengers. Sit down! Sit down! It's always one fucking fuck up that always fucks it up for everybody else. God dang fuck ups. Sit down! Upon landing, the woman was met with law enforcement and was removed from the plane. You go on a jail. You go on a jail. I don't want it. Whoa, I whoa, whoa, it. whoa, 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 whoa. This man is getting salted. Somebody do something. I don't want I've got better one. I don't want this. I have better one. I have better one. Hallelujah. I've got one. This is straight assault. I don't want this. I don't want this. Yeah, no man wants this. Not one man on planet Earth in his right mind wants this. And if it was him doing this to her, then he'd be in jail. Psychology says that when someone's laughing and they look at you, they're attracted to you. <laughs> Psychology says no such thing. And don't even get me started on the one where if you dream of someone, that means they're in love with you. How is that supposed to work? <laughs> Not with them eyebrows and eyelashes. You look like freaking a KISS model. Or not KISS model, but like a member of KISS. Someone said if you can take him with those eyebrows and you can keep him. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the girls to rate themselves 1 to 10 and why. 
Oh shit. Here we go. You know what? Shout outs to No Fugazi. That's a smaller podcast. I actually been really enjoying their 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 content and I like how um uh the, the main host like goes about things. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Ten. Just ten. Uh, nine. How you rate yourself is like yeah. how you see yourself. Is reality the way you see the world or is reality the way the world operates? My reality is how I see the world. That's a very mm-hmm. solipsistic view. Women tend to have this ego that you think everything just revolves around you. Who do you think is better at self-improving, men or women? Women. Women's women. Women. So how are y'all all better at <laughs> self-improving when y'all just rated yourself nines and tens? That's is nonsense. If you, you are nine and ten, time out, stop. Y'all gonna get this heat now. If you yeah, are you ten, see? there's no wiggle room for self-improving always- because if your self-esteem is here, then where is any room for the improvement to come? So that's why men are just better at self-improving because we don't think the world revolves around us. I actually think mm-hmm. that if we got an average rating from a hundred men of all of these women and we put all their ratings together, it still would not add up to ten. And this. Look at her, Rocco. That's why we're gonna have so many future cat ladies, because you got all these fours that think they're tens, and they think they can get the highest quality men when they can't. Everything. What are you wearing? This is not good. I am everything a man wants. I am so. Okay. Classy. Please put your cat is fake. I'm so classy. A classy wearing fake. How? Okay, he's also wearing a cat This is a cat How much? How much is it? One thousand eight hundred dollar. You want to try? Oh, please go and sleep. Yeah, I know the price. <laughs> See your iron. My bro, we buy you twelve thousand dollars. It will buy you. Bro, I can Next feed you. Next time when you come somewhere, eh, you cannot feed me. Oh, I can feed you. you. I can feed you. I will feed you. And trust you. me, very soon. Who be artist? Who be artist? Who be artist? Who be artist? You hear artist? it very soon. Now, what do you do? So, what's your name on Instagram? Uh, card, uh, big Alvin one one two. Okay. I sell cards and I'm also into real estate. Okay. So. Okay. What's the worth of your shirt? This is a millionaire. Prada. Okay. Yes. Millionaire. Yes, this is SB Dunk, hmm. Grateful Dead, mm-hmm. about a thousand dollar. This is off white, about four. Stop it! Stop it! Four hundred thousand dollars, really? Stop it! Like a thousand dollar shoes, which are sneakers still. I, I, I'm not really into shoes, so I guess. This man's wearing like a half, like a million dollars right here. Like, <laughs> that's too much. 400K. I My see. chain, this is $8,000. Danish. You can check. So, cost yourself, and you're saying everybody is cheap. Blah, blah, that blah. That you blah, feed blah. everybody. Yeah. Now, one thing is lame comparing who has the most expensive clothes or jewelry. It's all materialistic bullshit. But if she's going to stand there and call herself classy and disrespect him when everything she's wearing is fake, then let him cook. Let him I agree with that. A Chanel purse is, a, y'all know what that costs. Five plus, six plus. Have you expensed a gift the same price of a Chanel purse to a man ever? Yes or no? The answer is no. My point is, we are giving you tangible things because that's what we love to do and we like to do and that's what y'all like. So the closest thing to tangible in the most part is physically giving us your body. Mm-hmm. When you have a good man, our reward is sexual exclusivity. Yeah, buying a woman a Chanel bag doesn't make you a good man. And if you buy something expensive for a woman that doesn't truly like you and you expect sex in return, then you're a Muppet. You played yourself. I ain't going 50-50 with no I want her. God, I love this guy. Why would you not choose not to go 50-50 with a man? I haven't felt the recession, so I don't know. If, if you haven't felt the recession and your finances are in order and this man is coming to pay half, wouldn't that be an asset and not a liability? Yeah. I ain't going 50 50. Yeah. Okay. Do my profile picture look like I go 50 50 with it? It look like your ass single. How do you deal with a man that is more sensitive than you? It, it gets strange for me in conversations like these when we talk about one party being more sensitive or more soft. And a lot of times that, that kind of boxes men in. And it, it's alarming because if a man can't be sensitive and soft in his relationship, then where can he be? Like I'm, I'm like I, I, I don't know too many men that don't want to take their guard down with their old lady. Like I don't, I don't want to have to come home and protect myself from you. Like, do you, do you know how, do you know what I gotta go through? You saw those faces? I think this is the first time they ever realized. Ah, oh, shit. Out in the world, and then to have to come home and guard and tiptoe with you because I can't be vulnerable. Like even when we use the word soft. 
Bro, a man being hard all the time will destroy him. So when you mm. talk about not wanting a man that's more sensitive than you, that's you falling into training that cuts pieces of a man off. And then you complain mm -hmm. about those pieces being missing when he show up at your doorstep. Also, the woman chooses the type of man that she's with or deals with. She doesn't have to be of a sensitive man. And it's all balanced for me. If you're a man going home complaining every day and being emotional, then it's normal that a woman's not going to like that. The same way a man doesn't like a woman that's acting all aggressive and masculine. Having said that, if you can never let your guard down around a woman and she judges you for that every single time. She belongs to the streets. Woo, shout out to Araco. That was some great child. Accountability. Women love this word salad to just spin around all over the place. 360, 280s, I don't even know, 900. Just to say nothing and still prove nothing. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.